Let's talk about how to determine the resistance of a resistor. Um, specifically, the resistor color code is what we're going to talk about first. Um, so just to give you um, an introduction, there are three ways to determine resistance of a resistor. Okay, the first method is calculated using Ohm's Law. So, if you know the voltage drop across the resistor, and you know the current flow through the resistor, then you can find R using Ohm's Law, V equals IR. The second method is you can measure it. You can measure the resistance of a resistor directly using an ohmmeter. And the third method is you can read it directly from the resistor by decoding the resistor color code. Read it directly from the resistor color code. Okay, so let me show you. It might be kind of hard to see on the camera. I have two resistors here and you can see that the color bands are different between these two resistors. Okay, so the manufacturer has encoded the value of these resistors from these bands. And so we need to know how to decode that so we can read what the theoretical value of the resistor is. Now we say the theoretical value because this is gonna give us a range of resistance resistances that the exact resistance will fall within. To find out what the exact resistance will be, it's better to measure using an ohmmeter. But um, to read from the resistor color code is also useful. So here's how we do it. So the color code is, there's kind of a, new, a clever mnemonic device for it. There's probably a lot of them, but the one that I know is this. It's better be right or your great big venture goes wrong. Okay, so the letters here, this is a B, a B, an R, an O, a Y, a G, a B, a V, another G, and a W. So these correspond to colors. These are color bands on the resistors. The first B is black. The next is brown, followed by red, orange, yellow. The first G is going to be green, followed by blue and violet. And then the second G in the color code is gray, followed by white. Okay, so these correspond to numerical values. This is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay, now um, that's going to give us the first three bands, sorry that it's blurry, of the resistor. So the first three are going to be colored bands. You can see this last band here is shiny. Okay, so the last band will be a metallic band, um, and it will either be gold, silver, or no band. Okay, so these metallic bands are going to give us the tolerance of uh, the resistance value. Okay, so there's going to be a range of tolerable resistance values that the manufacturer has set Gold is going to correspond to a 5% tolerance. Silver is a 10% tolerance. And if you see no band there, that's going to be a 20% tolerance. Okay, so here's how we decode the resistance from the color bands. 
So if a resistor looks like this, um, you can find the orientation of the resistor by finding the metallic band, right? So the first three bands are going to be one of these colors. The last band will be the metallic band. So find the metallic band and you know that's kind of like the end of the resistor. So the beginning of the resistor will be over here. So looking in from this direction, um, these are going to be different colors. So let's just look at this first resistor that I have. This resistor has a red, a red, a brown, and then a gold band. So we have red, red, brown, and then gold. So let me write that out. Red red, brown, gold. Okay, so this is what we do. We look on our color code chart. Red is a two, there's another two, and then brown is a one, and gold is going to be a tolerance of 5%. Now be careful here. This is not a 220 ohm resistor. So what we do is these first two numbers are going to be the first two numbers of our resistance value. This guy here is the multiplier. Okay, so this basically tells you how many zeros go after those first two numbers. So this is going to be a 220 ohm resistor with a 5% tolerance. And um, to calculate the range of acceptable values, if you multiply 5%, 5% of 220, so that's 0 0.05 times 220, that's going to give you a resistance value of, let me pull up my calculator, point oh five times 220 is 11 ohms. So that means that 220 minus 11 will give us the low end of our resistance range. So that's 209 ohms. If we took 220 and we added 11, that will give us 231 ohms. This is going to be the high end of our resistance range. So our resistor, if we were to measure the resistance directly from an ohm meter, will fall anywhere in this range. Okay, these are the range of the, tol the, of the tolerable resistance values given by this 5%, which was encoded as a gold band on the resistor. So let's do another example reading the color code. Here we have another resistor. It's hard to see the color bands, but here's the metallic band. It's gold, so that means if I orient it like this, this will be the start of my resistor. That's brown, black, orange, gold. So the second example This is brown, black, orange, and gold. So I look on my color code. Brown is one, black is zero, orange is three. So that means I'm going to have one, zero, and then since orange is three, I'm going to have three zeros after my one zero. Okay, so this is given by the brown the black, and these three zeros are given by the orange because orange is three. One, zero, three. Three zeros go after the one zero. So this is going to be a 10k ohm resistor. The tolerance of my resistance is going to be again 5%. So that means that if I wanted to calculate what the acceptable range of resistances could be, I will Calculate tolerance. I'll multiply 0.05 times 10,000 
and I will get 500. So that means that my tolerable range of resistances will be between 10,000 minus 500 to 10,000 plus 500. So anywhere between 9,500 ohms and 10,500 ohms will be my acceptable resistance range.